There was an attempt yesterday by the South Koreans to negotiate uh, with the North, uh, and they laughed that off. Uh, simply uh, categorically not interested, uh, it seems. Now, this latest attempt uh, from John Kerry, you heard him uh, in a clip that we played a moment ago. Uh, he's in Japan now, uh, and he says that the Americans, the Japanese, the South Koreans are all willing to negotiate with North Korea, uh, but there is a key fundamental sticking point, and that is that the Americans want North Korea to denuclearize. Uh, they do not want it to become a fully-fledged nuclear nation. Uh, the North Koreans, though, have said that there is no negotiation whatsoever. Any negotiations that will take place with the North uh, have to have the fact that they are a nuclear nation as a pretext. So that's a clear problem uh, and a stumbling block. I'm not quite sure how uh, that one can be resolved. And, of course, the, the backdrop to it all is this threat of, a, of, of another missile test. There was a uh, rocket test late last year, followed by a, uh, an underground nuclear test. That's really why we're, we are where we are. Uh, and there is this threat of, an, of a missile test, uh, perhaps today. Of course, you mentioned that today is the, uh, the anniversary of the birthday of the founding father of North Korea, Kim Il-sung, who is Kim Jong-un's grandfather. Uh, perhaps some say that's a, a perfect day to, uh, to show off their strength and to conduct this, nuclear, uh, this uh, missile test. It is now one in the afternoon in Pyongyang, so uh, given that the, the past tests have taken place in the morning, uh, perhaps it won't happen now. I think uh, certainly one view is that it would have been a huge uh, risk to carry out a test today because uh, the missiles are untested thus far. So if it had gone wrong, uh, then it would have been very embarrassing uh, for the leader, for the military, uh, and for this um, attempt by him to show his perceived strength in North Korea.